Let's talk about the magic of restoring photos and then also colorizing them. Check this out. Number of photos in here that I have and uh, I actually want to restore them. This one is pretty beat up. That's the one I'm going to start with. One of my dad. And how you're going to do this, you're going to go to filter, neural filters. It's going to analyze the photo. It's going to recognize the faces. And this is where we want to turn on photo restoration. And look at that magic, but we're only halfway there. Let's check this out, off to the side. Additional properties and adjustments you can make. I'm gonna increase the scratch reduction because I wanna get rid of all these little scratches and things. And look at that, we have our before and then our after. Amazing, we'll just output that as a new layer and we have that all set up looking great. It'll even work on more extreme cases like this one, so I really need to get rid of this tear. Well, let's try it using neural filters, photo restoration, and then increase the scratch reduction. I think one of us was mad at our older sister in this photo. And there it is, that tear is gone. Isn't that amazing? We have our before and then we have our after. We'll click OK. Call that done. That one looks pretty good. Let's get into colorization now as well. So we'll go back into neural filters. And this time I'm gonna select colorize right over here. Let's select that, turn that on. It's gonna recognize that as a face. And look, it did a great job. Um, I could actually manipulate some of these settings. Maybe I wanna take down the saturation a little. That looks pretty good. But this is what I like right down here, the output options output as a new color layer. I'm gonna click OK, I'm gonna show you what it does there because it's a regular layer over here, but it's set to uh, color blend mode. So I actually wanna just change that to normal. So now you can see what it looks like and you could work on this layer. So what I wanna do for instance is uh, select the brush, maybe sample the skin tone and then just kind of paint over those lips so they're not so red. And we can always change it back to color to see how it looks. And that is the magic of photo restoration and colorization. So easy to do. Try it with some of your own photos and let me know what you think. Thanks so much.